systems question based upon file organization we are having two file systems a and b that use contiguous allocation and linked allocation respectively so a is using contiguous allocation while b is using linked allocation the file of size 100 blocks is already stored in both a and b so we are assuming a file stored in both a and b and the file is having a size of 100 blocks so this is 0 and let us say this is 99 and middle somewhere there will be 50 and 51 same way here 0 50 51 and 100 now we have to insert a new block in the middle of the file means between the 50th and the 51st block in both of these file systems whose data is already available in the memory assume that there are enough free blocks at the end of the file and that the file control blocks are already present in the memory we have to determine number of disk accesses required to insert that block in the middle of the file a denoted as na and in the middle of file b denoted as nb respectively and then we have to report their sum so basically we have to assume that there is enough free space at both the ends and we simply have to insert a new block between 50th and 51st block in both of these file systems and we have to determine the number of disk block accesses required for this operation in the two cases respectively so first of all let us distinguish between this contiguous and the linked allocation what are the differences between them is that in contiguous allocation all are definitely contiguously stored in the memory one after the another and because of this there are Two things first one is that random access has become possible we can directly jump onto the 50th block and then try to insert a new block after that and second thing is that for inserting a new block in this case what we can do is we will not need to traverse all the blocks starting from 0 to 50 you can directly jump to 50 because the file control blocks are already there in memory so we will be using those and we will directly jump to this location after 50 where we have to insert a new block so let us say this is our new block to be placed over there but we cannot directly place it what we'll have to do is we will have to shift all the blocks from 51 to 91 one place ahead and then a new empty block will be created here in the place of 51 which we will be replacing with this new block so basically the operations which we are requiring is 50 read operations for reading all the blocks from 51 to 99 then 50 write operations because we are having to shift them one place to the right let us say here we used up a new block and then we will be shifting 99 here 98 in place of 99 and similarly 50 in 51 in place of 52 and so on all of them will be shifted one place to the right so it will involve 50 read operations 50 write operations and then over here at the place of 51 we will be placing the new value which is already there in the memory so that will take again one write operation so in total we needed 101 operations for contiguous allocation and now coming to the linked allocation what is the major difference between contiguous and linked is that first thing that here it is a non-contiguous means the memory blocks are not in the contiguous manner they are spread all over the places and they are connected with links so they, just as we have a linked list in the similar way this is the linked allocation of memory in which that particular file system has been created so here one disadvantage is that for reaching to this place after 50 we will need to traverse all of these we cannot directly jump to that location so this will involve 50 read operations because we are reading all the blocks from 0 to 50 and after we reach 50 we simply have to insert a new block so we will take that new block and just as we insert a new node in the linked list same operation we will be performing here we will be linking that new block to 51 and we will be linking the old 50 to that new block so this way it will be inserted between these two 
50 is now linked to new and new is linked to 51. So this took two write operations or we can say two link operations because we have linked them to each other. So the total number of operations required for inserting a new block in linked allocation is 52. We do not need to shift or do anything else over here. That is the advantage of link. But only thing is that we needed to traverse all of these. And in the contiguous, we did not need to traverse, but we had to shift. So basically they are on the same track. This took 101 operations and link took 52 operations. So in total, we get 101 plus 52 equal to 153 operations. So the answer will be NA plus NB equal to 153 total number of operations.